All right, so this is a classic problem where you're trying to check to see if a string, uh, any type of string, contains balanced brackets. Uh, so what are some examples of matched braces? You could have uh, curly braces, brackets, uh, parentheses. This is common for doing uh, expression matching. We won't be doing any uh, tokenization of uh, math operations, but uh, that might be something we can do in a later video. Uh, yeah, so this is a common problem and uh, one of those sort of tasks you might get on like a leak code or uh, maybe even in an interview. Um, so in Rust, uh, we're going to be looking at the string API. Uh, if you haven't, if you're not familiar with the STR, that's a string slice and a string slice uh, if you actually look at the book uh, rust book it refers to a string slice as the as an offset uh, all slight well so all slices happen to be offsets uh, into a pointer in memory and for a string slice because it's a static string you have it as an offset offset uh, to a particular memory uh, in the binary itself. Uh, so, so what we're going to do here is uh, we're going to use uh, a vector to store uh, the each character uh, that happens to be a brace in as a stack. So. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and do that. So let's declare our stack. This is going to be a U8. Uh, you'll see why in a second. All right, so we have our stack. And then what we want to do is we're going to use the iterator of a string. Um, to do that, we need to convert the string into something we can iterate over. So we're going to iterate over the bytes specifically. So we'll go ahead and do that. As bytes. And now when we call iter, right, we get an iterator of u8 of bytes. Um, so how might we check to see if each one, if every uh, every item in, if every byte happens to meet the proper criteria? So we can use the all, and that's part of the iterator. So let's go ahead and look at, right, so. <clears throat> So in the all tests if every element in the iterator matches a predicate. So we can pass a closure that returns true or false. So we're going to do that. We're going to specify the byte here. And then within this oper in this uh, operation, we're actually going to use a match. So a match is another great um, syntax of Rust uh, to control flow. So you can match on quite a number of different types of things, uh, conditions, uh, and be able to return things. So, so see here, this is using a number, and we're matching on 3A7 and other. So we're going to do that with B, right? And we're going to specify if it's a open curly brace, we want to check if the most, and actually that's backwards, let's do it this way. If it's a closed curly brace, we want to make sure that the previous item in the stack is also an open curly brace. Right? And then we'll go ahead and do that for 
each of the braces that we're testing. And finally, the closing. Right. In all other cases, we're going to check if the character that we're processing happens to be an open brace. So we're going to declare those up here. Eight, there are three of them. And that would be, and you can use this syntax, it's a byte literal syntax. Right, so now we have our Braces, and then we'll use the contains, which is expecting a reference. So we're going to say B, which is a reference. If it contains that, I'm going to go ahead and push it onto the stack. Now the stack expects a the actual value. So to do that, we need the uh, we need a we need the actual raw value, not what B is, which is a reference. So we're going to say that and this star refers to the actual underlying value. And then we'll just return true from here. So now that we have our match, we are missing one extra edge case, which happens to be that if the stack uh, happens to have multiple Thing, multiple open braces, but no closed braces, such as, in this case, an unpaired brackets, uh, what's going to happen is it's going to go into this match expression. It's going to push it on the stack. It'll push it on the stack again. And then what we're left with is two items in the stack that haven't been cleared. So we're going to just add one additional condition here, which is and stack.lin equals zero. Now that we have that, brackets are balanced. We're going to save that. And this is saying it's mismatch types. Oh, because we're not using the byte literal syntax, right? So we're going to do that. That. And as well, since we're modifying it, you can see that the borrow checker is preventing me from mutating it. So we have to go back to our stack and declare it as mutable. And there we go. So now let's go ahead and test that this works. Right. We're going to run the cargo test. Ignore. Okay. And the test pass. And that's it. Um, so, yeah, so what we covered was how to use a mutable vector as a stack, um, the operations for push and pop are first in, last out, or last in, first out LIFO, right? And we learned about using, iterating over the bytes of a string and using the match operation uh, to check for some conditions. We learned about uh, using the star character to point to the raw value of that. And uh, yeah, so that's it. Thanks for watching. Um, I'll be doing more of these type of exercises, uh, referencing things from the exercises, exorcism type uh, website, as well as from leak code and other places to help solidify some of these rust uh, Help solidify some of these rust 
type centric exercises. Thanks again.